And just moments before I was able to come on tonight and talk with you, our health officials came to me and said, now we do have our first positive confirmed. West Virginia is reporting its first confirmed case of coronavirus. Governor Jim Justice is reassuring people here in West Virginia that the preventative measures are necessary here. For over a year, Governor Jim Justice's top priority has been guiding West Virginia through the COVID-19 pandemic. With the setup of an informational website for the public, regular press briefings, and prayers. But Father, I pray for all of us in our great state that you will intervene now and hear our words, as I know you will, and some way, somehow intervene to stop this terrible virus. And after having to shut down some activities across the state, Governor Justice developed a plan he named West Virginia Strong, the comeback. We've come up with a methodology that we think will move us forward with science and math behind it and experts behind it and leadership behind it. Under the governor's leadership, West Virginia has been among the most successful states in the nation at minimizing the spread of COVID-19 through aggressive testing. How do we really find out exactly where the problems are and what to do? We test. We test. The more we test, the more we know. This program has allowed easy access for citizens to get tested at various locations across the state every day. West Virginia was the first state to order that all residents and staff members at every nursing home and assisted living facility in the state be tested for COVID-19. The CDC later recommended that all states across the country should replicate this strategy. We ran to the fire. I commend all those that you know, pulled that off and everything. And uh, it's a good thing. So I'm proud of you, West Virginia. Under the governor's direction, all counties made in-person and remote learning options available for the 2020-2021 school year, establishing over 1,000 Wi-Fi sites. All 55 counties. There'll be all the K through 12 schools will have it to where you can go to the parking lot there and do whatever and get on the internet. And 500 feeding sites that have provided millions of meals to kids. The governor and state leaders created a color-coded county map for schools determining protocol for each county. And each county in our state will receive a, a, a code, a basically an either a, a green, yellow, orange, or red code that will change daily. West Virginia has been praised on a national level for our coronavirus response. We turn now to West Virginia, one of the states lifting restrictions and opening businesses at full capacity. When it comes to COVID-19 vaccines, you are not only leading the nation, but leading the world. Uh, what are you doing that maybe other states can copy to get as soon as the, they come off the plane or they come off the truck, they're in an arm? Well, you know, you know West Virginia's done a great, great job. You have uh, been lauded for success in getting vaccination out to your people. It's about 18% of the state, I believe, that's been vaccinated. The governor managed the allocation of the state's $1.25 billion allotment of federal CARES Act funding. He also provided hero pay to first responders and frontline workers. We're going to give the counties an incredible amount of latitude to reward the people that are the true first responders, the people that are the true soldiers right on the front lines. Under the governor's leadership, West Virginia ended fiscal year 2020 with a surplus, despite the effects COVID-19 had on the state's economy. That in itself may be the biggest accomplishment that we've ever, ever pulled off. And had recorded surpluses in seven of the eight months so far in fiscal year 2021. We're now at $131.7 million of surplus, and I could go on and on and on about it. And now West Virginia has led the nation in the rate of COVID-19 vaccine distribution and administration. Well, in this situation with this disease, there's three ways to stop it. There's three ways to combat this, and that's, that has to be, that has to come down to age, age, age. Vaccinations have been provided to every long-term care facility in the state, while some other states haven't even started. Two and a half weeks after the vaccine arrived in the state, the vaccination rate ranked as the highest of any state in the nation. And we're pushing it out the door just as fast as we possibly can 
Get absolutely vaccinated. It's all there is to it. It's just as simple as that. Governor Justice placed importance on our elderly population in his Save Our Wisdom program to ensure those residents are vaccinated quickly. But it is absolutely targeted at our people that are 80 and above and our faculty and our service personnel 50 and above. In January, Governor Justice and DHHR launched a registration website so West Virginians can be notified when it's their turn for a vaccine. And he made vaccine clinics available in all 55 counties. Now, more than 12% of the state's population is fully vaccinated. Those people, not long ago, six weeks ago, thought that there was no chance that they were going to be able to get a shot until maybe April. We've got over half, well over half, of our total population in this state that's above 65 years of age and older, you know, that have gotten shots. And they're protected. And a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of lives have been saved right there. Earlier this month, as the one-year anniversary approached, Governor Justice began loosening restrictions, expanding capacity and limits at restaurants and businesses all across the state. Just be really considerate of all and we'll get there. I am extremely respectful of all of our freedoms, but this has been one, one tough go of it, has it not?